everyone, welcome back to a new episode of Diagnose Dan. Today we're working on an 06 Ford Focus with the big 1.6 in it. The customer complaint is the automatic transmission is shifting hard and the gear indicator on the dash is flashing. So let's diagnose this together and remember folks, if I can do it, you can do it. This shirt was sent to me by Erico of the South Main Auto Channel. Now I assume you all know his channel, but if you don't, there will be a link in the description of this video. Eric has got a great personality, he is fun to watch, but above all, he's one of the greatest technicians out there. His workshop is in a place called Avoca. And by the way, if you want to make money, you've got to open up a car wash in Avoca because the cars Eric is working on are so dirty, there is no way there is a car wash anywhere near Avoca. So if you like dirty, rusty cars, and as a bonus, you wanna learn something, you've gotta check out the South Main Auto Channel. In this video, we'll be doing two giveaways. The first tool I'm giving away is this relative compression tester made by Ditex. Now, if you watch my channel, you've seen me use it in one of my videos. Now, you're not getting mine because I love mine, but I'm sending you a brand new one. These are very hard to get because they're very, very popular, but I managed to get one to do a giveaway on. The second tool I'm giving away is this little OBD dongle, which you can pair up with your smartphone. With this device that is made by MobileScan from Denmark, you can read codes, clear codes, and take a look at live data on your mobile phone. If you want a chance on winning one of those two fantastic prizes, all you have to do is be a subscriber to my channel and leave a comment in the comment section of this video. In my next video, I will let the computer randomly pick two winners from the comment section of this video. If you are a winner, all you have to do is contact me on my Facebook page and I will send you your prize. I drove the car and I confirmed the customer's complaint. This transmission is shifting very, very weird. To me, it looks like the transmission is in limp home mode. Also, the gear indicator on the dash is flashing on and off. So you can't tell if we're in park reverse or drive. Now let's start out by reading the fault codes of the transmission. In this video, we'll be diagnosing the car using the Lance X431 Mini. Now if you like what you see, I will leave a link in the description of this video to the website I got it from. Today we're using the traditional diagnostic function of this tool. There's also a remote diagnostic function, which is a very, very helpful and cool feature. The way it works is that you type the name of a friend, let's type Eric, that owns the same tool. Once you search, it will find every Eric that owns a tool like this. Right away you see it is helpful if your friend uploads a profile picture. Once you have found your friend, you can select your friend and he can come into your tool and you can diagnose the car together. Now Eric is busy today, so we're gonna try it on our own. I went into traditional diagnostics and it auto ID'd the car. Now let's select the transmission control module and read the codes. And it's telling us this module is not responding. So let's try another module. Let's try the PCM powertrain control module. 
Let's read the codes. And there is a code stored, missing communication with the transmission control module. It looks like we've got no communication with the transmission control unit. Let's take a look at a wiring diagram to locate the communication wires. Once we have found them, let's do some measurements and hopefully find out what's wrong. This is the wiring diagram for the high speed CAN network. The CAN high and the CAN low wire end up at pin 6 and 14 at the DLC. When we follow those wires, they end up at pin 8 and 9 of our transmission control module. It is a blue with red wire and a gray with red wire. Another thing we can see in this wiring diagram is that the terminating resistors are in the engine control module and in the instrument cluster. Now another nice feature of this wiring diagram is when you click on the picture you get additional information and we can see that the instrument cluster is also our gateway. And it also shows us that one of the two 120 ohm terminating resistors is in the instrument cluster. On this Ford Focus, the transmission control unit is mounted on the firewall behind this plastic cover. Now it was a little bit tight in there, but I was able to back probe the CAN high and CAN low communication wires of the transmission control unit. Now let's take our scope and do some measurements. Let's select automotive, communication, canvas measurement, and let's change the time base and press play. Now as you can see, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the communication on those canvas wires. Now as you could see, there is communication on those CAN bus wires, but is that communication coming from the other modules towards the transmission control module, or is that transmission control module also talking back? In the next step, I'm going to do something that normally you would never, ever, ever want to do. I'm going to clip those communication wires and measure on both sides to see where the communication is coming from. Now, this isn't really necessary, and I'm only doing this for educational reasons. And in the end, Diagnose Dan will fix them again. Now, if you're watching this, don't you tell anybody what you just saw, because this is so very, very wrong. And if you tell somebody what I'm about to do, they're gonna say, ha, that Dan, he's supposed to fix cars, not cut them up. I hope I cut the right one, by the way. Well, here we go. Don't ever do this. Boom, I did it. Let's select automotive, communication, CAN bus, and let's change the time base. Now, this is not really necessary but this is the way I like it, and let's press play. And there's nothing there. But hold on, let me turn on the ignition and wake up the modules. And there we go, there is communication on those canvas wires connected to the other modules. Now let's relocate our scope leads to the side connected to the transmission control unit. That's one. 
and that's the other one. Let's try again. Automotive, communication, CAN bus, and let's press play. There's nothing there, but let me turn on the ignition and see if we can wake up the module. But no chains, as we can see, no communication coming from the transmission control unit.